Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for January 19, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, uh, where you can get access to the full video of this analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have finally found major resistance here, just at the top of the Bollinger Band and just underneath the 50 moving average. So if we were to find resistance, this would be probably the perfect place to find resistance. So at this point, we most likely will see the US dollar index pull back towards the 20 exponential or probably the 20 simple moving average here in the middle of the Bollinger Band. And then we'll see whether or not we will see a trend change here or if this was just a minor uh, rally to the upside. If we break through these two moving averages, then we're heading to the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And that means we'll test these previous high lows as well. At the moment, technical indicators are still very bullish at, uh, at this point. But if you look at the four hour chart, for example, we are going down towards the 20 exponential and we'll most likely find um, some kind of support here at 19.55. And um, of course, we could also go all the way down towards the 50 moving average that is around 90.23. And if we do not manage to break through the 50 here, if we do something similar to this and then rally back towards and just go like this up and up, that could be an indication that we are going to go much higher in the, the US dollar index. And that will have quite huge complications for, for example, gold, oil, and uh, most commodities uh, indices and so on, because there's a negative correlation between the US dollar index and uh, commodities, precious metals, and, and indices and stocks and so on. So this will, um, will affect other things negatively. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, we ran, ran outside of the Bollinger Band and then we pulled back. So we got way up ahead of ourselves. There is no reason why we are supposed to be at this point at 52.10. This was basically vaccine news, uh, stimulus news, um, basically pure speculation, OPEC, OPEC and, and so on and so on. So at this point, pullbacks towards the 20, that is um, a buying opportunity because, uh, well, the 20 exponential has been very resi resistant and uh, supportive for the last few months, actually. So pullback towards roughly 50.36, that is your buying opportunity. And the target at this current stage would be roughly 20, uh, 55. So 55, um, there's going to be quite a lot of selling occurring. I just don't see this going to 60. The, the world economy is basically in shambles at this moment. Most of the countries in Europe are basically locked down or partially locked down. So it, is, it would be, a, a, I would be amazed if we go all the way to 60. But 55, that is uh, very possible that we are going there. So let's look at natural gas. So as you can see, we have a gap down and then broke down all the way down to 2.56 and then rallied a little bit. And now we're trading at roughly 2.6. So this is just a continuation. Um, at this point, uh, we're just seeing uh, another pullback as we have pulled back here, rallied, pulled back, rallied, pulled back, rallied, pulled back, rallied. And now we're heading back towards at least 2.5 and or down 200 moving average at 2.33. So if the 200 moving average breaks, then we're going all the way down to two. So um, it's going to be interesting to basically see what happens here. Uh, the 50 moving average was basically the top of this, uh, of this um, market and we did not manage to break out of it ever. So, so at this point, we're heading back towards the 200 moving average at 2.3. If that breaks, we're going all the way down to two. So uh, winter was not as cold as expected and therefore demand for natural gas was not as high as expected and therefore we did not see 
the rally that we usually see in the winter months. Technical indicators are looking dreadful, so uh, we're just heading straight down towards the 200 moving average at this point. So let's look at copper. So copper has been really interesting. We have had the 20 exponential and the 50 being major support for a very, very long time now, all the way down here to uh, into May last year. The, we have basically been bouncing off the 20 and the 50 moving average. At the moment, we're just stuck here just above the, the 20 exponential moving average. And uh, I think it's just a matter of time before we rally up towards uh, 3.7. And if we break to 3.7, we're heading to 3.8. If we break down from here, we're heading down to the 50 moving average. That is at 3.45. And there you're going to see a lot of buyers entering this market. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. They're more bearish at this point. Um, probably the reason why we had this pullback here. We rallied quite nicely towards 3.64. And then I gave most of those gains back. So we'll see what basically happens here. But my take is basically to uh, the upside, at least 3.745 or 3.8. Or 3 so let's look at gold. So the appreciation of the US dollar has been uh, horrible for gold. So we dropped all the way down to nearly uh, 18, way down to 1810. And then rallied again now we're trading just underneath the 200 moving average and i think that we're we're going to see this rallying all the way up towards 1900 first then 1915 and then 2000 so we have this major resistant line here that we have to break through we actually could draw it like this so this was a false breakout you can basically say it. this was the major resistance line. And if we manage to break through here, then we're going to 1900. And uh, another breakout at this point, that is a very bullish shine. So we have the support line here. So we broke underneath and then rallied. That's a very good sign. If we basically stayed underneath this support line here, then I would be thinking about shorting this to the downside because that would be a very bad sign. But because we ended up above this support line, that could mean that we're going to rally above the 200 moving average to uh, when the market opens again. Then we're going to test the 50 and the 20 exponential and then probably this resistant line. So there's a lot of resistance above here. There's going to probably going to be a lot of, um, of back and forward. But my Analysis since we broke down towards the 200 moving average and rallied from here is holding. We are we have rallied up towards this resistance line, broke actually true, back down towards this um, support line, and now we're heading back towards roughly 1880, and uh, we probably have a pullback again and then rally towards 1900 and 2000. Um, I would be amazed if a gold wouldn't uh, don't go doesn't go higher in the long run because there's just going to be a lot of stimulus uh, interaction by the Federal Reserve and so on. So that is usually very bullish for gold. Technical indicators are turning around, so expect this to rally the next few days. So let's look at silver. So silver has uh, broken down all the way down to 24.15 and then rallied again and now we're trading above the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are turning around, so this is also a very good sign for silver. If you manage to take out the 20 exponential moving average, that opens the door to these previous highs. But we have a lot of resistance above here. If you look at this area here, then all of this area is basically resistant. We met trying to get through this area um, only a few weeks ago and broke down. And now we're probably going to test it again. If we manage to break through this, then we're heading all the way down, all the way to $30. Uh, so let's look at platinum. So you can see we are almost ready to be able to uh, uh, buy into this again. We broke down quite um, uh, quite, uh, quite hard, all the way down to the, 200, uh, the 20 exponential moving average, 
found some support here and now it looks like we're going to turn around back towards these previous highs. If we break below the 20 exponential then we're heading all the way down to the 50 moving average and there's going to be a lot of interest in basically buying this if it falls down to that level. Technical indicators are looking, uh, well, they're fairly bearish at this point, but if you look on the 4 and 1 hour chart, you'll see whether or not when this basically starts to turn around. 20 has been fairly resistant in uh, supportive in the last few months, and um, it still looks like it's going to continue. So let's look at Pallium. So as you can see, we have broken towards the 50 moving average and uh, we did rally towards 2.401 and then broke down to the 50 moving average. And now we're trading at roughly 2.375. Uh, uh, well, as you can see, this is just more of the same. Uh, this is probably one of the boring, most boring markets there is out there. So... We have these highs of, um, of roughly 2.5 and the very low here of 2.175. We get to the highs, it is possible to short, get to the lows, it's possible to buy. That's how this market has been behaving for a very long time. At this moment, it looks like it is ready to go and break down to the downside. Technical indicators are looking very dreadful at this current stage, so be aware break below the 50 moving average and trading underneath the 50 moving average that opens the door to 1.2.1 so let's look at aluminium so as you can see we have broken below the 50 moving average and are trading at 1.959 9. and uh, the preferred analysis i was actually very surprised of this so this has been really, really, really uh, bullish for a very long time. We have broken down below the 50 moving average in the past. So back here in uh, the end of September, we did break uh, twice below the 50 moving average. So this could be, um, it doesn't have to mean that we're going to trend towards the 200 moving average. It could, if we rally from here and find that the 50 and the 20 are very resistant, then we are most likely going to head all the way down to the 200 moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, they are looking uh, dreadful. There's still a lot of room to the downside, but they are looking very, very dreadful uh, for aluminium. So it's going to be very interesting to see when, this, when we start rallying again, whether or not we manage to break through the 50 and the 20 exponential moving average. If not, that means that we're going to head down to uh, 1900, 1800, and all the way down to, the, uh, to 1729. So let's look at nickel. So we rallied a little bit and then broke down, and now we're trading at uh, 18040. Uh, I think that we're going back towards the 20 exponential at 17443. Technical indicators are bearish or flat at this current stage, so not, not a lot of momentum to the upside. Momentum is actually to the downside at this point. So a buy-in here, stop loss right underneath, and a target of these previous highs. That is basically how you're supposed to trade this. So let's look at sugar. So sugar rallied significantly all the way up towards 0 0.1668, then broke down towards 0 0.1629.26 and at the moment we're trading at 0 0.1640. We need a pullback even bigger than this. Uh, the reason why we found support here is because this was the previous highs but I think this is just a beginning. We are going to head towards the 20 exponential and uh, it's not until we get to the 20 exponential that it's possible to enter this market again. To enter it here with a buy that is just... Uh, ludicrous and to buy it here is uh, well it's fairly risky as well there's not a lot of room to the upside and technical indicators are actually turning around so let's look at cotton so as you can see we have started our pullback towards the 20 exponential 
we have had this massive rally here, got away ahead of ourselves, and now we're going to pull back towards the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are turning around, so just wait until we get roughly at 0 0.7831, uh, and then it's basically possible to buy into this. So we have been rallying, pull back, rallying, and now we need to pull back towards the 20, and that's when we are going to enter this market with a stop loss right underneath and the target of these previous highs. So let's look at Krikoa. And as you can see, we have tried to rally above the 50 and broke down again. Now we're trading just between the 50 and the 20 expansion moving average. Technical indicators are looking much more bullish. So it may well be that we are turning around here. So Easter is just around the corner and uh, there's going to be a lot of demand for, for this product at the, in Easter. So, so we could see uh, another rally similar to that with that we saw over here prior to to uh, basically in November and, and beginning of December. So, but we need to break above the 50 moving average in order to confirm that we are going to go higher and actually we need to trade upwards in order to see whether or not we are going to go and trend higher. Technical indicators are turning around, so that is a very big improvement for this commodity. So let's look at wheat. So we rallied all the way up towards 691, broke down very aggressively, and now we're most likely going to head back towards the 20 exponential moving average at roughly 643, but I think that 650 is where we are going to see buyers come back in. Technical engineers are, well, we are almost overbought and they are turning around. So expect a pullback towards downside. Otherwise, it's not a good idea to buy it here. I need to pull back towards 650 before entering this market. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to write to me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.